Detroit has been on a tear, knocking down 14,000 vacant buildings over the past four years. Detroit has the largest demolition program uh, in the country. The post-bankruptcy city wants badly to rid itself of the many blighted homes and businesses that long have been targets of arson, drug dealing, and prostitution. It's terrible. It really is. Um, a lot of stuff happens in them vacant houses. There are benefits uh, to demolitions. Getting rid of vacancy, it impacts crime, it impacts health. The demolition program may indeed be impacting health, but not solely in the way it intended. A preliminary study suggests demolitions may be responsible for elevated lead levels in kids living nearby, a link that resident Juan Green wants the city to explore. Yes, a lot of people want answers. They want to know what's going on. So does Detroit's chief medical executive, who says demolitions are being halted this summer in five zip codes that have the highest rates of lead-exposed children. If there was an association, it was only seen in the warmer months between May and September. Unlike the lead crisis in nearby Flint, where water was the culprit, here it's paint. In the city of Detroit, we know that the primary reason that children are exposed to lead is old homes, right? 93% of the homes in the city of Detroit were built before 1978, before, which is when lead paint was outlawed. Raising old homes sends lead dust particles into the air. To combat the issue, the city is requiring crews to wet homes with a second hose. It also has formed a task force whose members will go door to door beginning later this summer to educate families on how to protect kids and test their lead exposure levels at home. We're kind of throwing the kitchen sink at it a little bit, but again, we're talking about people, we're talking about children, and so we have to do everything we can to make sure the program is as safe as possible. Dizelle Spires welcomes the city's efforts to keep its youngest residents safe. For him, though, the eyesores that populate his east side neighborhood must go. It's nothing to talk about. Get rid of them. They're a hazard. They will accumulate problems here in this city. Get rid of those vacant houses. Something Detroit will continue to do, but maybe a little more carefully than before. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Detroit.